It was two days after Christmas. I was a senior in high school and I had a mild headache and I remember going to go lay down and taking a nap. And when I woke up, I was completely out of it. So I called my mom and in my mind, I was telling her that something's wrong, something isn't right, but the words that were coming out of my mouth were slurred, mumbled. And so my mom, she rushed home. She drove me to wake bed emergency room. The last thing I remembered was getting my blood pressure checked. After that, everything went black. And I remember waking up and thinking that it was the next day or a few hours later, but it turns out that three days had passed. They eventually did take me off life support and that was when I opened my eyes for the first time in three days. After that, I went from not knowing who my family was, what was going on with me, and to going home eight days later. I was very guarded, but whenever I looked around and I saw how nice the facility was, I immediately relaxed. The staff were reassuring that we're gonna help you, we're gonna get through this, and you will get better. I am touched that someone would volunteer their time and their money to donate in this way and, and help facilitate success of others in our community. I needed, you know, encouragement. I needed love to let me know that although you are not yourself right now, we will help you, we will be there with you through, during this process so you are not in this alone. I literally went from not being able to tell them what two plus two equals, not being able to walk up the stairs, not remembering who my own mother was, to graduating high school six months later. If it wasn't for Wake Med Rehabilitation Center, I would not have graduated, I would not gone to college, and therefore I would not have had my son. Thank you for being there for me, being patient with me, encouraging me, motivating me. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs>